Hey guys, it's Ray, and today I've got an unboxing for the Amazon Fire TV. So for those who don't know, this is a $99 set-top box that Amazon created uh, that runs Fire OS, and it has all your, you know, uh, internet video on demand service such as, you know, Crackle, Amazon Instant Video Vivo, Netflix, Watch, ESPN, Pandora, Hulu Plus, iHeartRadio, Showtime Anywhere, all that good stuff that you normally get on something like a Roku or an Apple TV. Um, so it's $99 and it competes pretty directly with the Apple TV. Um, on the right, I've also got a uh, $39.99 uh, game controller. That's a Fire TV game controller, which I will unbox after the Amazon Fire TV. And that is for playing games uh, on the Fire TV. One thing that Apple's Apple TV set-top box doesn't do yet, at least yet. Um, so let's take a look at this. This is going to be a quick unboxing, not a full review, and uh, I'll have another video for a full review. So let's put this aside and take a look at what's here. So this is the Amazon Fire TV box. Um, there's a little bit of a holographic embossed uh, font over here for Fire TV. It's orange and silver and black and gray just like Amazon's colors. Uh, you've got a description over here of all the hardware features. Uh, remote control with voice search, high definition picture with up to 1080p screen resolution, uh, connect with dual band, dual antenna wireless or ethernet, support for up to 7.1 channel Dolby Digital Plus surround sound, optical audio and HDMI outputs, quad core 1.7 gigahertz, uh, processor for a great gaming experience and this is what's inside Amazon Fire TV player remote two AAA batteries and a power adapter and you'll need to bring your own HDTV with HDMI output input uh, that shouldn't be a problem HDMI cable okay sucks that it doesn't come with an HDMI cable and uh, high-speed internet so of course I've got that and on the back you've got uh, all the descriptions for what it is so and here are some of the services that are supported. Here's you got games and you got some big publishers here. EA, Gameloft, Sega, 2K, pretty big uh, music services and uh, movies and TV. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy. Uh, let's see where the label is. Here's the label. I've got my box cutter and I'm just gonna cut this open. Ooh. Okay, and I think it just slides it right out like that. So look at that, there's an orange packaging inside. Nice. Okay, and it's pretty standard Amazon stuff. Amazon is pretty eco-friendly on the box. They don't go crazy on like the unboxing packaging design. They kind of just go with a standard box. Uh, if you ever received the Kindle, you'll know what I'm talking about, which is pretty bare bones. Um, so here it is. Here is the Fire TV itself. Uh, you've got a little manual for how to set up and all that stuff. We don't need that. We're experts at this. You've got your remote. Okay. And then you've got this box, which has all the other stuff that you'll need. Uh, power adapter and your two AAA batteries right here. Okay. And we're gonna put this aside. So we're just gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna put in the batteries yet because I'm not powering this thing on right away. But uh, here is the remote. You can see that there's some plastic cellophane on it. I just hate when companies do this. I know that they're trying to like protect the gloss from scratching while in transit, but like I just hate having to peel all these little things off. So luckily there's only one of those. And the remote is pretty cheap feeling. It's plasticky. You can hear the buttons. And uh, it's got a matte rubbery feel to it, so it's kind of nice for that. Uh, you've got your microphone to use voice recognition to search things on Amazon uh, services. And uh, that's the remote. I don't have an Apple TV remote on me. I can't find it. Unfortunately, I just like happened to misplace it the other day, and I don't know where it is. Um, I'll have to find that, so I can't have a comparison. But the Apple TV remote is much smaller and thinner, like incredibly thin because it uses a cell battery and not any kind of triple a batteries um here is the fire tv itself it's just a black square pretty ominous oops and let me get this out 
just a regular black square, man. And, uh, got some more cellophane around it. Peel this off. Where does it end? Uh, right here. More cellophane to protect it. Um, so it's pretty subtle. It's a subtle box out. You can put in your entertainment center and it won't really stand out too much. Uh, the corners are really, really sharp. Um, so be careful just touching that. Um, the bottom is kind of a matte thing, plastic, rubbery, so it doesn't slide around on your entertainment center or table top. And you've got your all your ports, power, HDMI, uh, digital, optical, out, audio, ethernet, and uh, one USB. And uh, I just want to do something really quick, which is compare it to the Apple TV. So this is a third gen, sorry, it's so dusty. A third gen Apple TV, compare this to that. And this one's so much smaller. It doesn't do games or anything, but you can see how much smaller it is. Um, and apologies uh, if you saw that reflection of me not wearing a shirt because it's just too friggin hot and I don't want to turn on the fan because that'll interfere with this recording. So I'm not sitting around in my nude, just uh, don't have a shirt on. Um, so it's a little bit smaller, the Apple TV is a little bit smaller than the Fire TV. And uh, here's a size comparison, a better size comparison. Um, and I just, you know, it's just friendlier to be rounder and smaller, but I don't think it'll be a problem once you just put in your TV, TV center. So, uh, let's just compare around back. Um, obviously the Apple TV doesn't have a full size USB port, it has a micro USB port, um, which can't really be used for anything other than for, I guess, kind of like restoring an update or something like that. Um, but pretty much everything else is more or less similar, same. You've got your optical audio, you've got your HDMI, you've got your power, and your ethernet. So, uh, that's just a quick unboxing of the Fire TV and a little quick comparison. So originally I was going to unbox the Amazon Fire TV game controller, but this video is already running pretty long. If you want to see the unboxing for that, uh, you can click on the annotation right here over the box and uh, check that out. Um, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.